Okay, welcome to the monthly podcast. It's right, it's a podcast this month. That's right, only once a month. Uh, I just, this is kind of, it's a pretty impromptu video. If you can tell by the title, this video is me talking about the creation of the every level ranked. Uh, I just really wanted to make a podcast uh, or just a video to talk about it. Because, like, usually what I try to do with my videos is I upload a video, or whatever, I try to top the next video, try to top it every single time. And I made the every level rank. I'm like, okay. How am I gonna top the every level rank? And then I was like, you know what? I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to be able to top the every level rank. I don't think that that's that's gonna happen. And real quick, I'm gonna turn my computer away from me so I can't see how long I'm talking for. Because whenever I'm like making a video and talking into the mic, and I like look and see like, oh my god, I've only talked for two minutes. It just really kills me. So I'm just I'm not gonna look at the timer of my audio. But yeah. We're gonna be talking about the every level rank. Oh my god, uh, where, where do you even start? Okay, so I mean, I guess. And real quick, I just want to say, like, if it sounds weird or echoey, I'm not actually recording this audio where I usually record in my room. I'm actually recording upstairs because so much stuff is going on in my house right now. I just could not record downstairs and not get interrupted. So, yeah, I'm, I'm up here. So if it sounds echoey, that's why. But anyway, uh, I don't. I think I said in the video that. And real quick. Um, at the time I'm making this podcast, the every level rank has probably been only up for at least 10 minutes, maybe even less than 10 minutes. So still fairly fresh in my mind, but I think I started, I, I sent that video. I started making the every level ranked, uh, in December of 2020. And that's not a lie either. Uh, by December of 2020, I was at 500 subscribers and I was like, I want to do an every level rank for Skanders and I want to start making it now because I feel like by the time we get to a thousand i'll have it done uh back then i was i was gaining around 80 to 100 subscribers per month uh january and february was really great for the channel we grew like maybe even 2,000 subscribers in a month it was crazy but yeah i was like i was gaining like about 100 subscribers each month so i was like okay what i could get this video out by may because i i was like i i wasn't thinking about my channel would have my channel to blow up blow up quotation marks you know but I was like, uh, I was still like in the mindset of we're going to just consistently gain 100 subscribers each month and it's going to be great. So I was like, okay, well, I think I can make the every level rank around May, uh, record uh, all the games that I could at least. And uh, yeah, we, we'd be gaming. So I, I started making the script and then I just took a humongous break from the project. I just, I have no idea why around early January, I just took a humongous break from, I didn't do anything with the every level ranked nothing i didn't touch a script at all uh i have no idea why either i i think it was just because back then around january of you know this year 2020 one i was still in the mindset of i can make a video every day and you know nowadays i make maybe three to four to five videos every week um i was still in that mindset of like i'm gonna make a video every day it's gonna be great i'm gonna be one of the best guy doers ever whatever and that was so so unhealthy trying to put out videos every single day was so unhealthy all i was ever doing was editing videos or recording the script making the script for them i was never talking to my friends or my family um it was just really unhealthy so i was doing that still and i i, I probably stopped doing that thing where i would really try to make a video every single day always be working that probably stopped around march and i think it was around sometime in may where i was like you know what we're gonna do the every level rank so i started writing the script again 35 pages i for, that probably took me a week and then sometime in june because i was gone for a while i was gone for about five days so i think right when i got back from my five day vacation where i like that's when i didn't upload for an entire week uh i think when i got back from my five day vacation that's when i finished up the script and I started recording every single level. Um, I played through every single level on my Xbox 360 of Scott, uh, Spars Adventure and Giants. Just my capture card for it right now is just not that good. So that's why I got gameplay from Saku Sphere and Pack Attack. Uh, I've been needing to get Swap Force from my Xbox One. I'll probably do that sometime this year. Um, but yeah, so that's why I got gameplay from those guys instead of my own gameplay because just my cat and like sometimes my computer just won't even pick up my capture card and i just didn't want to go through that so i did get the ssa gameplay surprise adventure gameplay and swap force gameplay from other channels and there's actually this funny thing um 
for the first like the cutscene of Chompy Mountain, which is a top 10 level by the way, um, I accidentally skipped the cutscene and I forgot about that. So when I got to the the you know the level, and usually if there's a cutscene before the level, I'll play I'd play that when I start talking about the level. There was no cutscene. And I did not want to go up and record, so I actually like got gameplay from Pack Attack just to use like the first 15 seconds of the cutscene. Whatever. Um, but I, yeah, that was funny. So yeah, I pro I I played through Trap Team in two days. I played through all of Imaginators. I mean, sorry, all of Superchargers in about a day and a half. And then I blasted through Imaginators all in one day. Like I woke up at 9 a.m. and played Imaginators the entire day. Obviously took breaks in between whatever and I probably got done around 11 p.m. So I, I the entire day was just playing Imaginators, but I'm okay with it because it's my favorite game And once I got the gameplay done, um, I actually had already re No, I didn't I after the gameplay I was done. I recorded all the audio in one day too Obviously an hour and 43 minutes of audio, which I think I started recording audio at around um, Three o'clock. I think that was and finished around six o'clock because I took breaks in between and also uh, like each segment that you see in the video like I made this is like the first time I made like timestamps and stuff so like the bottom 10 the top 50 whatever good but not great all those are separate audio files so like I would finish one of the audio files take a break for maybe 20 minutes and go back at it 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 was yeah but like once I got the audio and the you know the videos and stuff I have a folder of like all the levels and their soundtracks which you know that took forever to download all the uh, the music behind it. I was like, oh my god, I'm actually about to start editing this thing. Did I just burp? Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, yeah. And if you want to know, um, that little, I think it's called a dodecagon or whatever uh, that you see by like the the um the you know when okay every single level you guys know if you saw the video. Uh, whenever the level came out, it got like a little, you know, little thing that said its name, the the rank by it, and it had that like dodecagon, that moving dodecagon behind it. Uh, I actually made that. I was that it was trying to be. Um, I don't know if you guys remember this in Skander's Trap Team in the Academy. There is a shape that kind of looks like the dodecagon or whatever, and it has elements on it. And I I wanted to find like a GIF of that or whatever. I just couldn't. And so uh, I, I didn't know what to do. I was thinking about like animating it in Adobe animation. I was like, oh my God, I forgot. I have Blender. I can literally just go to Blender and they actually have a dodecagon tool. And I made that colored each side, did basic spinning animation, boom, done. I'll probably put like a video of me making it. It, it took like 40 minutes to make it just cause I'm an idiot. Um, and plus I actually had a, this is in the video cause I stopped recording after that. I actually had to go back because the green screen wasn't, uh, the, it, I tried to like green screen just the gray background that wasn't working. So I had to go back into it, put like a giant green cube uh, b um, behind it. And I used that as the green screen. But I actually like how it came out. I, I have each elemental um, logo on it, uh, not logo, uh, color. But the only thing I just kind of didn't like about it is that it, there was like a shine on it. Like there was like, a, but I, it, it was whatever. I made that. I, I had to make, um, then I had to put that into Photoshop. And even though there was a green screen behind it and I already taken out the green screen, uh, the Photoshop didn't care. I had to go th through every single frame of that spinning animation and, um, and delete the background behind it. Thank God Photoshop has the magic eraser tool. It only took like five minutes. And I put it into Photoshop, made like a five second video in Photoshop, uh, with every single level and uh, all the ranks by it which took probably about like a, like three hours that actually took a long time to make all the signs for it just because i had to you know put the number in put the different name for it in x you know export it do that again over and over again 118 times it took a while uh but i i got that done and then i finally started editing the video and i was like oh my god this take forever and i think when i posted the on my community tab uh, the you better be ready <laughs> thing with the, uh, the thumbnail. I think I'd already been working on the video for about a day. So I like, I wanted to get the video up on Saturday and I actually did surprisingly. That, that means that I was only, I only edited that video in a span of five days. Each of those days, I, I edited a bunch except for like Wednesday. I only like edited 10 videos that day. And the last day, Friday, I think I edited like, uh, 
the lower 59 like all the rest of the 59 levels after the halfway mark i think i yeah i think i edited that all in one day no well technically two days i like i was up at nine because i forgot i had to wake up early for something and i started the editing that and then about like 3 a.m is when i finished it and then i exported it or whatever and i was like oh my god thank you and then i put it into youtube but what I didn't, but that's not the end of the story. What I didn't know is that for whatever reason, around the hour and 12 minute mark of the exported video, the video just gets corrupted and stops playing. So I tried to export that to YouTube and it obviously wasn't uploading. And I was so frustrated. And then I finally like looked at the video and I was like, I was like, what's wrong? Cause actually, I actually did actually get the, um, the video up on YouTube, it was unlisted, and it was only an hour and 12 minutes, and I was like, okay, what the heck? So I looked at it, and it just stopped around the uh, hour 12 minute mark. I went into Premiere Pro, nothing was wrong with it, so I actually looked at the video, and it just cuts out after the hour and 12 minutes marks, but there's still like a black screen for the rest of the video, and I was like, what the heck? So I went back, had to uh, export the video again, it didn't work because my computer, with all like the videos and stuff, and the music for each level, my computer was almost at like, full capacity couldn't handle anymore so like three times i tried to export that video and filled and i finally realized i had to go to like delete some files i have a bunch of files that i didn't need so i deleted those finally got it i got the hour 43 uploaded it to youtube i wanted to upload it around 11 it, it uploaded it at 1 15 so obviously didn't work out the way i wanted it to but I, i'm fine with it i got it up um and I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. that. That's one of my proud. This that might be my proudest video I've ever made. Uh, I, I put it as my channel trailer now and everything. I'm really proud of that project. Because, I mean, I just, I started it back when I had 500 subscribers. And I just stopped. I have no idea why. But I think it worked out in the end. I think, I, I, I'm, I'm at peace with the fact that I took like a three, four month of break from making that video because it was supposed to be my 1,000 subscriber special, like I said. And we've grown so much. We're like at 6,000 and 100, and we're still growing, and it's amazing. And I'm hoping that the every level rank doesn't underperform, because that would suck. Like, I, I, that, that video took so much effort. I'm probably gonna take like a three day break or something like that. But that video took so much effort to make. And oh my God. I finally got it out and if it underperforms whatever I'm just glad I got the video out but it would be really nice if it the way I see it is a video that overperforms is any video that I have that has more views than my subscriber count at the time of making the video so my uh my ev my Skylanders my my um what's it one factor every single Skylander that is like around 8,000 views. So I consider that a hit because more people watch than I have subscribers. So I, I consider that a hit. So like if when I, if it gets like more than 6,000 views or whatever, you know, whatever. But if it only gets 1,000 views, whatever, like it's okay because at the end of the day, I'm happy with it. And if the people who watch the video are happy with it, then, you know, I, I, I think I won, you know. Just, I mean, I actually, you know, I don't expect anyone to watch like actually the whole one hour and 43 if they do they do like let's say you're a big fan you want two hours of content whatever you know boom there you go that that's two hours of content of me ranking every single level and I think it makes up for the week I basically took off editing that video because that that entire video like if you add up the minutes are going to be more minutes than if I made a video every single day because my, most of my videos are like eight minutes long. That's going to be more than like what eight times like 45 minutes. Yeah, that's way more than 45, uh, 40 minutes. So I think it makes up for the fact because it is so long. And I mean, you can watch it in segments as well. Like, okay, I'm going to watch um, what I'm going to watch from 118 to 70 today and then I'll watch 70 to 59. Uh, no 70 to 50 and then i'll watch the top 50 in one day uh it's great because i actually put timestamps in i was like i i gotta put timestamps in this video and it's the first video that ever has timestamps in it it's like uh in intro rules intro then the rules then the bottom 10 then disappointing levels then um okay to good levels then good but not amazing then the top 50 which are all amazing levels 
and then the top 10, and then the thank you and outro, which again, thank you to Soccer Sphere, thank you to Pack Attack for all the gameplay, but a big, big shout out to, to Square Eye Jack, because I mean, he's, I said he's like one of the most underrated channels, and I'm saying that, and I have like less subscribers than him, but like, if you're looking at the grand scheme of things, he only has four, I think around, yeah, 47,000 subscribers, and he's made four of those every level ranks, and his content is so good. He might only post like once a week, once every two weeks, but when he does post, oh my god, it's a a good video. He's actually the only person I actually um, am a patron of. I, I don't use Patreon, but he deserved it, I thought. So I, $5 a month, what, what's that going to do to me? Nothing. And he's the only person I, I really ever plan on supporting on Patreon. And I get all the videos early, so you know, that that's cool. Um, Yeah, but... Yeah, Square Jack was, I, I said in the video, the sole inspiration for the every level rank. Because, I mean, even in December of 2020, I think he had, I think he had two every level ranks. Yeah, yeah. He had uh, his Crash every level ranked, uh, which came out before Crash 4, uh, it's about time. I think that was in February. Um, that was the first one. Then I think he had, I think he had the, did he post three every level ranks in one year? He might, I, yeah, I, he posted the Crash every level rank, and then the, I think it was the Jack and Daxter every level rank, then the Tony Hawk every level rank, and then the new the Spire every level rank, which is still fairly new, which is an hour and 20, uh, 43 minutes, like over an, uh, one hour longer than mine. Um, so, he's a sole inspiration. Uh, if you've never watched Square Jack, uh, big, big ups to Square Jack, I mean, he's great, you should definitely watch him. I th Okay, well, if you're like five, don't, because he cusses a lot, but if you're okay with cussing or whatever, uh, he's so funny, he's so energetic, each video he makes, you can tell that a lot of heart and soul uh, went into that, and, you know, if you support him on Patreon, and you ask him a question, he's always going to respond. I've actually, I actually asked him one question about YouTube, 10 minutes, he responded with like a good, like, a thorough response, so like, he, he cares, you know? Uh, he's great. He's funny. He's awesome. You know, you gotta love Square Eye Jack. He's, he, he's, he's, I, he might be my favorite YouTuber ever. I don't know. Which is insane that he doesn't have, like, at least 100,000 subscribers. He's so close to 50,000. Like, let's see. Yeah, if, th if this video gets 6,000 views, okay? And none of you 6,000 people are subscribed to Square Eye Jack. You, you better subscribe to Square Eye Jack. There's, there's no reason that you shouldn't. Uh, man, I'll, I'll probably even link his channel in the description. Like, I can't imagine how long, because I, I think, yeah, the closest one, the closest one in length to my video is his Jack and Daxter every level ranked, which I think is around the same time as my Skylanders every level ranked. Um, all the other ones I think are over two hours long. If you want to like, you know, watch two hours of good, of good content, because all of his content is good, man. Even, like, his earlier videos are still, like, um... I wouldn't say ironically funny, because they are good videos. But you can tell, like, not as much production was in them. Which is fine, because it was, like, what, five years ago when he started uploading. So, I mean, it, all of his videos are good. Uh, prop... He probably doesn't agree with that. Like, when you're actually, like, a YouTuber... You know, you know let's talk about some YouTube stuff, I guess. When you're actually a YouTuber, usually you're, you are your biggest critic. When, oh, die, sorry for moving on, like, usually when, if you're a YouTuber, you usually are your biggest critic. Like, when you're making a video and you're like, oh, I should take this out, uh, they're not gonna like that, that probably isn't true. If there's like a little section of a video that you don't like, but, and you want to take it out, most likely the people who are watching it won't notice. It's, it's kind of like, when you think you like gotta make this big, massive YouTube video, because everyone's gonna like it like you don't really need to you know it's it's kind of insane really because like every single time i upload a video i'm like i could have done better like that's usually like like especially when i uploaded um the uh one fact about every skylander i was like you could have done better man you could have like gotten gameplay for each skylander and you know have gameplay come up for each skylander whenever they get their fact i'm sorry whenever they get their fact which probably isn't true. I mean, people probably wouldn't care that much if I did. It'd probably just be kind of like a novelty. But, like, you kind of are your biggest critic. You're always kind of, like, saying you could have done better. Like, at least for me. I think, and I think a lot of YouTubers will agree with this. Is like, 
I'm not calling myself a YouTuber either. I'm just saying like people who make videos on because I don't like the word influencer, content creator. It's so cringe. But usually when you're uploading videos, even if like your best video, you're probably still like there's something I could have done better. I think I think there. But with the every level ranked, I, I'm actually really happy with that. Um, you know, so it's just it's insane that we got that out i mean if you if you want to like hear me talk about more youtube stuff whatever and, and this podcast does good like say in the comments if you want another monthly podcast because i'm only gonna make one of these once a month just talk about the month and this month did uh, was really good for the channel actually we gained around i think a thousand something subscribers which is not normal or no like a thousand seven hundred it was something crazy like that i don't know we're nearing ten thousand subscribers actually more than halfway through uh to ten thousand subscribers which is crazy uh, we could even get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, that which is crazy. We might not. I don't know. But if, if we do, that would be uh, that'd be insane, honestly. Like even a hundred, even a hundred subscribers. When you're like making the content, it's like it's always just seems so far away. Like when I when I was on the road to 100 subscribers, it always seems so far away. And then when I was on 100 subscribers, the road to a thousand seemed like impossible. I was like, I was like, I got a hundred. There's no, I'm going to get to that. And then when I get to, when I hit a thousand subscribers, I was like, okay, this YouTube channel is something special. You know, this YouTube channel is something I should stick with. Because I wasn't planning on sticking with, uh, Scott Gamer TV, or whatever, as long as you might think. Uh, who may, I'm not going to say how long I was originally planning to stick with it, but it might have not even been to, we might, I might have stopped making videos like at least two, a uh, couple months ago if I, originally which with, with my mindset i went into this but who knows we don't know but when i hit a thousand subscribers that's when i was really like okay pedal pe pedal pedal to the metal metal to the pedal i don't know catchphrases i'm dumb pedal to the metal right yeah but when i actually like hit a thousand i was like this either channel is something special that i need to work on that's why that's why there was a big content shift around december to february of of 20 to from december 2020 to the february of 2021 that's why a lot of gameplay videos i stopped making those and that's why i started making more discussion videos and that's kind of why i've stopped making locks too i don't know if i'll come back to the forgotten lock honestly because locks always underperform and i don't really like making them either like skander survivor videos they underperform kind of but i actually enjoy making those videos the thing with the locks is like i was always making them only because i felt like i had to and that's not like if you're a youtuber and you're only making something because you feel like you have to then you probably shouldn't be making it. it you should only be making stuff that you enjoy and even though the every level ranked took forever to make and was really tiresome i i enjoyed making it the entire way through i mean there was probably moments where i was like man do i gotta get this done why but at the end of the day i mean i got it up now we'll see how it does for the channel Maybe it'll be the most viewed video we ever have. Maybe it isn't. Actually, no. Like I think I looked at it. It has like, uh, like when I looked at it, like after five minutes, I had like sixty something views. I think some of my videos still have like thirty views. So, not the least viewed video on the channel. There you go. That, that's something. But, but yeah. I mean, it's crazy where we're at right now with the channel. Things only seem to be going up from here, which is great. The only thing that could probably make this better is if we got a Sky Hunter 7, which I mean, it's never gonna happen, but we can always dream. I don't know, maybe it's kind of like with the Total Drama thing. I don't know if you saw it. Total Drama Reunion got like a million views. It was like a homemade thing. And then the actual Total Drama uh, Fresh Studios took it down and they're making um, Total Drama in sometime this year, a new, uh, new season. So what if we got a fan game or whatever that got like super popular? 1 million downloads something like that and activision's like oh people still still like this because like there is still a massive audience i mean look at crypt crusher like his every chompy ranked or whatever got like a hundred something thousand views and it's only um what mo a month old maybe two months old at this point and i d but i don't think like i don't think scanners views even if they all consistently got like hundred thousand views that's not enough i don't think because to really make a game for Activision, I think I think what Activision is looking at now is that a, if a game doesn't make around 5 million copies for them, if it doesn't sell that much, it's probably a failure for them. I, I think that's how Activision looks at it. 
because apparently Crash, it's about time, in Activision's eyes, was actually a flop. Because I think it only got around 7 million copies sold. And when I say only, I mean that lightly. Uh, in the Insane Trilogy, like, had 10 million. They're like, what gives? And I just think the people up in Activision don't understand that platformer games are just never going to sell as well as, like, Call of Duty or whatever. And that's just how it is. You know, we're past that era where platformers are the, aren't the the only games. I mean, 1998 or whatever, Crash, Spyro, Mario. It was all about platformers. And even, to some extent, to the PlayStation 2 era, Sly Cooper, um, and... What's it? Ratchet and Clank. So, I mean... I, I just think people at Activision don't understand that the kids' games, at least, are probably never going to do as well as Call of Duty because... I mean, gaming now just, you know, has more adults in it than little kids. And gaming was originally made for little kids, not adults. But since there are more adults in the world than kids, there's obviously going to be um, the adult game selling more. And I think I just need to understand that, that Skylanders, Crash, Spyro, whatever, is just never going to sell as well as Call of Duty. And that's okay, because, you know, if, we, if you still make a good game, that game is still going to get recognition for being good. And your company is going to look better for it. So, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, I think that's the end of the, the monthly podcast. The podcast talking about how the every level rank became to be. I don't think I have anything more to say on it. Um, no, I don't. Actually, no, I wasn't originally going to put my outro on it. But for whatever reason, just one of my one of my videos, only one, had uh, copyrighted striked the outro. But that was the only one that had it for some reason. Like that was the only that video was the only one that got copy striked for the outro or copyright claimed whatever for the outro. But the same outro is in every single video, so I was like, you know, whatever. And actually, the every level ranked. Um, I I unlisted it because I was really scared that a lot of the songs were gonna get uh, copyright claimed. Not a single one got copyright claimed. But something actually did. The Mesmerelda there. When I was talking about how there's no bosses or whatever, I originally had Mesmerelda's boss over that, but that got copyright striked for whatever reason, and I don't know why. Because it's a video that usually can't get copyright striked, and whatever. So I replaced it with Money Bump, but that was so weird to me that, like, I had 118 different musics playing throughout the entire thing. Not a single one got copyright striked, but Mesmerelda's boss fight did. I, I just found that so odd, but, uh, yeah, I think that is the end of the monthly podcast if you guys enjoy the monthly podcast then tell me in the comments and i'll make another one and what jennifer march of may june july august god august is gonna be next month PG. <laughs> but yeah we guys have enjoyed podcast if you like it the next month it'll be time to podcast once again anyway guys hope you guys have enjoyed this podcast and thank you guys for watching